You should be host on the I'm going to say to Madam, you can We are we are ready.
Good morning to all. On behalf of uh, PSNE College of Engineering and Technology, a Department of Biomedical Engineering, I welcome our most distinguished chief guest of the day, Dr. M. Ramachandran, the Deputy Director of uh, Medical Science, GH Dindical, and Mr. A. John Joyce Sargent, the District B PPM Coordinator, DB Center, Dindical, our beloved Chairperson, Thirmadi Dhanlakshmi Ammar, and our Honorable Pro Chairman, Rotarian Thiru RSP Radharam, Respected principal, our beloved HOD, participants from various institutions, and my dear faculty members. I have great pleasure in welcoming you all for this webinar post COVID 19. This webinar mainly focused on resuming operations after COVID 19 lockdown to stay healthy and safety after work and at home. With this introduction, I hand over this session to our guest, Dr. M. Ramachandran. Please, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your kind introduction, Ram. Uh, dear all, ma'am already told that the, the webinar is mainly for post-COVID-19. But when will you, when will you say it is post-COVID? Still the COVID is in present scenario. So, what are all the things we should do after this lockdown? That means the fourth phase of lockdown. We will see one by one. Few points about some few basic things about COVID-19. I want to say COVID means coronavirus infectious disease, which is started in China, the Wuhan, the year of 2019, at December last. The coronavirus disease 2019, let's break the myth first. What is coronavirus? Coronavirus, a large family of virus that cause a wide range of illness, mainly from common cold to more severe disease. They are often zoonotic. We all know about MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. So, basic thing, corona is a viral disease, just like a common flu. This uh, structure of coronavirus. Is it audible now? Then, regarding coronavirus, 
Is this a new virus? No, it's a definitely not. Since 2002, we are dealing with the same viral family. The year of 2002, it's known as SARS from CAT. And the year of 2012, we know as MERS from CAMEL. Then 2019, that's COVID-19, the source, the different source, we didn't know whether it's a bat or snake or some other. But see the mortality in SARS, it's 11% of the infected and the MERS is 30% of the infected. But comparing those two, the mortality is only 2% at the beginning. But as on today, it crosses more than 7.5 to 8%. In the timeline, I already told uh, the last of 31st China country informed a pneumonia of unknown cause, direct from Wuhan. Then 5th January, WHO, this World Health Organization, reports a pneumonia of unknown cause in China and publishes a risk assessment. And 10, WHO issued a guidance tool for countries to check their ability to detect and respond to the virus. Then 13th January, first case of novel coronavirus outside the China, that's in Thailand, it's confirmed. 21st January, WHO make a field is to Wuhan. 23rd January, first meeting of emergency committee regarding the novel coronavirus outbreak. Then the very important one, January 30th of 2020, WHO declared as a COVID-19 is a public health emergency global outbreak. See, December 31st, the first the incident is reported in Wuhan, not at all a confirmed one. Then 30th January, within 30 days, the WHO declared as public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak. That's the problem, the real problem in COVID-19. Even though the mortality is comparing with the MERS and SARS, it's very less, but the, the transmission to the public to the people that's very severe and very dangerous. Who is at risk of infection? Anyone, everyone is at the risk of infection. If any one of the infected person, he may infect through respiratory aerosol or through droplet infection or by direct contact to others. Then the very first, when the case is reported in China, they do a study with the signs and symptoms. Mainly fever, and cough, fatigue, sputum, shortness of breath, myalgia, sore throat, headache, chills, vomiting, diarrhea. See, all these signs and symptoms are for common flu or influenza or any viral disease. Not only for this COVID-19. When the season is changes, all of us or most of us will develop a common flu like fever or flu, uh, running rose or sore throat. In COVID-19 also, the same signs and symptoms are appear. Then the epidemiology, out of 100, 81% of COVID-19 were asymptomatic or mild symptoms. Need not worry. The so fourteen percent were need treatment. Only three to five percent they need hospitalization for critical care, for ICU care. Then transmission, uh, transmissibility and severity. I already told that what is COVID nineteen case definition. What is suspect case? What is probable case? What is confirmed case? These are all the, uh, the things which is in the beginning. A case, any, with, uh, any respiratory illness, any fever, those who travel in the infected countries, they are called 
perspective but now all are gone out all are washed out in india especially right now any patient with symptoms and signs of viral etiology we may suspect covid 19 the very important one how does covid 19 spread two way of spread first way from person to person through small droplet from the nose or mouth which is spread when a person with the covid 19 cough or exhales these droplets land on objects and surface around the person other people when they touch the surface and without washing their hands if they touch their eyes or nose or mouth they may get infected that's the problem in covid 19 so only we insist to stay more than at least 1 meter that is 3 feet away from a person who is sick then what is next infection prevention and control what is infection prevention and control the scientific approach with practical solution designed to prevent harm caused by infection ground up prevention of infectious disease epidemiology social science and health systems strengthening and routine patient safety and health service quality this is for medical persons not for you yeah, this is for all protecting yourself how will you protect by personal protective equipments then protecting your patients this is for medical persons but for you protecting your students or your neighbor or your colleague or your friends the final protecting your family community and environment these three strategies should be followed after lockdown period for minimum 3 to 4 years because the pandemic of covid 19 will extend maybe 2 to 3 years then only the severity will come uh plus applying standard precaution for all persons in here not patients it's persons ensuring triage early recognition and source control implementing empire additional precaution for suspected infection implementing administrative controls using environmental and engineering controls <coughs> this uh, slide is mainly prepared for healthcare workers now i just change it to general public elements of standard precautions hand hygiene this is for all respiratory hygiene this is for all <coughs> ppe that is personal protective equipments according to the risk then fourth is not necessary fifth also not necessary sixth environmental cleaning this need for you seven self handling and cleaning of soiled linen this is also need for you then waste management this eight is not need for general public so the point number one hand hygiene respiratory hygiene and pp according to risk and environmental cleaning self handling and cleaning of linen this are all important for all categories right now what's the chain of transmission if any infectious agent is present that needs to reservoir then port of exit mode of transmission portal entry susceptible host this is the chain of infection so any one person is infected he may infect some other person then that person may infect some other the chain is go through then few slides about <coughs> hand washing technique wash your hands wash your hands with soap and running water when hands are visibly dirty If your hands are not visibly dirty, frequent clean with using alcohol-based hand rub and so forth. For college students or lecturers or common public, I insist hand washing for at least 10 to 15 times each and every time for minimum 20 to 30 seconds. Because if any of the virus particle is in your hand, if you use plenty of water and detergent and Uh, so that will break the spike of the virus then automatically the virus is washed out 
it's very simple method to prevent from covid 19 after coughing or whenever you wash the hand after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick before during and after you prepare food before eating after toilet use when hands are visibly dirty after handling animals or animal waste after toilet use it's very very important because now the who is accept the excretion of viruses through fecal matter so maybe the chance of getting spread and hand hygiene so the things which we touch frequently in our day to day activity should be disinfected first so our hand should be hygienic one door handles your pen your mobile uh, then your laptop or gadget any other notebooks car uh, door bike handle bar whatever it may these are the things we touch frequently so we should disinfect and this daily to at least two times or wash your hand after handling all these things for example if you go by your office by a car you are the driver you drive the car wash your hand after leaving from the car because you use your steering a gear rod then a door handle of the car so better wash your hand after leaving from the car like all others this is for medical persons but the basic thing is hand hygiene is must then hand wash minimum 40 to 60 second at least 20 to 30 second is enough need wet hands with water hand wash is a technique you don't just do hand wash the proper properly first wet hand with water then apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces rub hands palm to palm first then right palm over left dorsum with interlacing fingers and vice versa so just see the slide then you understand palm to palm with fingers interlace back of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlace these are the method to do hand wash then rotational rubbing rotational rubbing for both side rinse the water then dry your hands thoroughly with a single use towel use towel to turn off So this is the method to do hand wash. Then hand rub, at least minimum twenty to thirty seconds. Hand rubbing is mainly for medical persons. Whenever they see any patients for emergency use, they can uh, rub with the alcohol-based uh, medical, I mean, hand rub solutions or any hand sanitizer. But hand sanitizer is must for each and every one. In my concern, because you need not get soap and water at every place so at that place better you uh, do hand rub by using sanitation apply palm full of product in a cup of hand covering all surfaces rub palm to palm same like the hand washing technique you do hand rub with hand sanitization which is prepared by alcohol base then cough better to use tissue or handkerchief whenever you cough or sneeze or just do the second way we do close your nose and mouth by using your elbow then only the transmission of the droplet to the air is minimized because wh told the aerosol will travel up to 1 to 1.5 meters that is up to 5 feet anyone infected covid 19 cough or sneeze without mask 
or without proper cough hygiene the opposite person who stand nearby that infected person may get infection then cover your cough by tissue or your hand then place your tissue in a rubbish bin and wash with soap and water or sanitize with alcohol based sanitizer then what is respiratory hygiene this may be important respiratory hygiene is mainly for cough and sneeze this for bubbly cover the nose and mouth with the tissue if the tissue is used to discard immediately in the trash if there is no tissue turn head away from others when cough and sneeze or put your elbow to cover your mouth and nose do not spit here and there this is very very important because the covid 19 may present in the soil also this are all the things used for personal protective equipments face mask which is covered nose and mouth n95 mask that superior than normal three ply mask that is cover nose and face sorry nose and mouth face shield which is covers eyes nose and mouth goggles for eyes gown for body apron for body gloves for hands head cover for is all this need for a common public no definitely not but the face mask is must very initially the uh, at the month of january second week third week WHO told there is no need of mask for common public because at the time we get only imported case and we can trace the source of infection from an infected person but now the community is infected the common spread is occur so we don't know who is really infected who is not infected so we are in safe side at all time so now government is instructed to wear face mask for all the first one the common surgical three ply face mask which is covers your nose and mouth it will protect 90% of virus from others so the first one is uh okay for all public the all others are for medical persons who handling with positive cases or suspect cases okay should i wear a mask yes if you have a respiratory symptoms cough different will this is previous one but now the answer is yes you may wear a mask even you don't have any respiratory symptoms okay the final not needed for a general public who do not have respiratory symptoms this is wrong this is first stage only now we are moving to social spread at this time we need mask to prevent or ourselves from any infected persons because we don't know who is infected then this mask management so many masks are there cloth mask single layer mask double layer mask triple layer mask the cost wise all the masks are same even a good quality triple layer surgical masks may get from uh get by rupees 5 so my advice do i want to wear a mask wear a surgical mask that's sim- that's very useful to you because simple three layer surgical mask mask will protect you from 95% of virus very important point do not reuse the single use mask if you remove the mask just put it in a dustbin that's enough because 
not only virus not only covid virus all other virus which induce influenza like illness may occur in the mask if you reuse the mask on the second day you may inhale the all the virus particles and you may get some pneumonia like illness so do not reuse the single use mask when to use mask now i told you may use mask whenever you go out from your house okay if any one of your household member is infected or suspected you may wear mask even though when you inside the house this is the recent guidelines given by ministry of health and family welfare government of india after putting a mask clean hands with alcohol based hand drop or soap water better after before wearing a mask you just rub your hand with hand sanitizer then you wear your mask after wearing the mask you just sanitize your hand with hand sanitizer cover mouth and nose with mask and make sure there is no gap between your face and the mask avoid touching the mask while using it if you do clean your hands with alcohol based hand sanitizer because we are very new to wear face mask even the medical people are very new to use the face mask in previously we use uh the face mask occasionally when we see the very critical illness any tb patient with the end stage any hiv patient with the end stage or when performing surgeries when performing deliveries all other times usually we don't use mask so this very newer to medical patients also when common public this very very new so see just imagine if you use one glass power glass very new at the end of the day just count how many times you touch your glass how many time you just uh, put out the glass so many times like that whenever you wear the face mask automatically your hand will go to the mask for adjusting purpose avoid all these things avoid touch the mask if you wear the mask minimum 6 hours don't touch the mask unless there's emergency then repair the mask with a new one as soon as it is damp and do not reuse single use mask remove the mask na remove pannadukku apram we may discard the mask and wash your hands with a clean i mean clean the hands with the soap and water or alcohol based hand soap this is the so called surgical face mask three layer it is prevents droplets spread to others use only if you have cough this previously but now use whenever you come out from your house this n95 mask this healthcare product who attend the cases it is not for you but if you use uh, n95 mask it's well and good for example this uh, unavoidable circumstances you may go for a crowd or any meeting or some place you, you feel it's better to protect yourself apart from n90 uh, apart from surgical mask uh, you may wear this n95 mask it gives 100% uh, protection from covid-19 virus but this so cost per piece 350 rupees something then equipment is for medical person then very very important important for public it's not for doctors because we are all know this very very important how long the incubation period for covid 19 what is incubation period incubation period means any virus or bacteria enter in our body then it may develop some disease it will take some time the time is called incubation period in covid 19 so 1 to 14 days that's a very very problematic one if the incubation period is one day or two day or within hours we need not worry this much but the prolonged incubation period of 1 to 14 days 
but common symptoms will appear after fifth day so that our government insist for home quarantine or any type of quarantine for at least 28 days because double the incubation period say any one of your passenger come from abroad our government insist to go for quarantine at least 28 days in a separate place because the incubation is 14 days for our safety we give double the quarantine period so within 28 days he didn't develop any symptoms need not worry is not at all an covid 19 person how long does the virus survive on surfaces a few hours to several days see some examples paper and tissue paper is 3 hours copper 4 hours cardboard 24 hours wood 2 days cloth 2 days stainless steel 2 to 3 days plastic 3 days glasses 4 days paper money that's 4 days outside of surgical mask 7 days this is common things we use it so any infected person cough or sneeze the droplet is lying down in a cardboard or wood or chair or some other place it may survive for minimum 2 to 3 days in the chair or table if any other person come and touch that object and without wash he scan and he touch his eye or mouth or nose he may infect them. then some myths wrong myths the corona virus will not survive in the hot humidity area but it's wrong regardless of the climate the new corona virus can be transmitted in areas of hot and humid climate then can eating garlic help prevent infection with the new corona virus this is all some myth no garlic is a healthy food that's a confirmed one but there's no evidence from the current outbreak that eating garlic has protected from new corona virus can regularly rinsing your nose with saline help prevent infection with the new corona virus since the corona virus infection is mainly in the nose and the throat there is no evidence of that taking a hot bath does not prevent a new corona virus some of them told hot bath may prevent the corona virus no but taking a bath with soap and water it may wash out all the covid-19 virus which is laid in your body i will definitely told because the soap and water will break the spike of the virus the second side itself they told the virus structure so many spikes that spikes will touch and bind with our body when we use soap and water the spikes will release and the virus will wash out can pets at home spread the new virus right now there is no evidence are there any specific medicines to prevent or treat the new corona virus actually right now right now there is no specific medicines we give supportive treatment we give immune booster treatment we give normal influenza like viral disease treatment with keen observation do vaccines against pneumonia protect the new corona virus there are too many vaccines against pneumococcus pneumonia but that vaccines does not protect from new corona virus the vaccine research for corona virus is going on right now there is no vaccine does the new corona virus affect older people or are younger people also suffering any people it will affect but susceptible people means elder diabetic cancer hypertension stressed people they are all the front line people affected by covid 19 
protect others from getting sick avoid close contact when you are experiencing cough and fever now even though there is no cough and fever avoid close contact avoid spitting in public not only for covid 19 for all this is even our tuberculosis also if you have fever cough and difficult breathing seek medical care early at the time kindly share your previous travel history travel history because previously we asked the travel history of international traveler after that we asked the travel history of other states now we ask the travel history of chennai now travel history of any other infected prone zone red zone so the history of traveling the travel history is very very important it will give a guide to the medical persons to lead you practice food safety better to prepare food in your home don't get food from outside take plenty of protein rich food then plenty of fruits avoid junk food stay healthy while traveling mainly avoid traveling if there is unavoidable circumstances travel is safe avoid close contact speak with clean words avoid touching eyes no sir if you are 60 plus that is elderly age or if you have any underlying conditions or comorbid conditions like heart disease respiratory condition diabetes hypertension cancer please avoid crowded places or places crowded area or places where you might interact with people here be smart and inform yourself about coronavirus mainly don't spread rumors and five commandments first and main un, uh, avoid unnecessary travel and crowd because who insist to maintain at least 1 to 1 and 1/2 meter distance it's called social distancing in each and every place i will come and i will discuss about post lockdown practices which may practice in general public especially in colleges so avoid necessary travel keep the hands clean maintain 3 feet distance from person to person do not share whatever you show on social media that is avoid rumor if you develop fever cough or breathing difficulty kindly go for medical advice then conclusion of the basic be informed know what is happening around don't panic but be alert don't fall prey to the rumors restrict your travel restrict mask gathering avoid hand washing cough activity avoid touching your mouth care and mouth. no hand sex this is not the time for panic it's a time to be prepared or alert there are some memes but actually this are all very very important one we should follow this postpone your foreign trip in year not foreign trip postpone your travel avoid unnecessary travel if the travel is must this is a necessary one kindly prefer own vehicle if a car you may go by three persons in a car so bike better single avoid to use public transport then maintain social distancing don't spread rumor wash your hands frequently stay indoor when you ill then i think this is a basic but you ask me what is the practice to be carried out by you students and lecturers or faculties after the lockdown period first i told 
the lockdown most of the public are thinking after the lockdown the corona will go out so we are safe we are successfully completing our lockdown period for fourth lockdown also we are successfully completing so a question from your mind will ask i am successfully completing my fourth lockdown also then what's the need of panic what the need of fearing was not like that remember the lockdown is to contain the disease but we are not at all contain the disease right now the number of disease reported for the past 10 days it's very high in number daily in india we get more than 6000 5000 to 6000 cases now we increase our testing facility so i think the positive cases will come in further days then so don't think about the corona will go recently who declared that the corona will will not go just like our aids or other disease the main problem is two first problem the mode of spread this take home message mode of spread first directly aerosol when an infected person cough or sneeze he may infect others to prevent that we wear we wear face mask this is the first thing so the face mask mask is very must for all right now the second thing mode of spread whenever infected person cough or sneeze the droplet infection the droplets will laid on the particles or objects it may alive in that object for two days three days seven days according to the object whenever a new person or uninfected person touch that objective after touching he touches eyes or nose or mouth without washing his can he may infect it. this is the main problem in india this is the main problem because we don't know which are all the objectives are infected by a positive just imagine one corona patient he don't know whether he is corona positive or not he come from his house he go to a shop he buy something then he return to his native his residence by using public transport not only for cough or sneeze even speech itself the virus will come out so he may he may light the droplet from the transport facility to the shop to the things all places so we don't know who is the infected person who uh, infect the objectives in there so that we repeatedly told each and every time wash your hand wash your hand wash your hand especially when you touch any objective wash your hand or if you want to touch your face wash your hand okay so this is this is some tips to the administrators kindly make availability of plenty of wash basins in the entrance of the campus so if the students or faculty come from home to the college if they use hand rub or hand sanitizer before entering the college well and good but better make arrangement for hand washing in the entrance itself strictly told each and every person who enter in the campus they should wash their hand with soap at least 30 to 40 seconds so before that if they are touching any particles now we ensure he is free from coronavirus why we insist of washing hand 
washing hand all other parts not necessary even though all other parts the virus is in him but the portal of entry is nose and mouth and eye that is touched by our self so only we insist wash the hand wash the hand wash the hand. then in the classroom better we maintain the social distancing at least 1 meter each and every person 1 meter distance wearing of mask is compulsory for students because there are lot of students will gather in one campus so from one person to other person without mask the spread is more than 90 percent from one person to other person with one person is using mask mask that is more than 50 percent if two person using wearing mask the transmission is very very less less than 10 percent so that i told insist all the faculties to wear mask we can wear the mask up to six to eight hours so before leaving the campus one time hand wash is very very much then if they are educated we told so many times whenever they reach their home they should wash their hand with soap and water better if any person come out from their home and uh, see all other persons are gathered in a place or come to college then return to home better to wash their cloths including the inner wares with hot water and soap detergent because the virus is laid in the cloth at least two to three days so the day one itself whenever they remove their cloth they should put in soap and detergent and personally improve your nutritional status immune status by taking plenty of fruits and uh, nuts and uh, protein rich diet don't take any things chill cool drinks or others because if you if you take any cool drinks you may develop some throat pain or throat infection a common cold but right this time we will confuse whether it is whether it is common cold or covid because both common cold and covid have the same symptoms so avoid all these things um then if you if you develop any cough or cold don't take self medication isolate yourself and inform to the doctors for advice right now is a very crucial period no vaccine is detected so far no definitely curative medicines is detected so far if any of the scientists give assurance to us just wait one month or one, one or two months or six months or one year we will definitely uh, make some vaccine or medicines we will wait but still now there is no part there's no idea the research is going on but we should run our day to day activities with precautions so that i told here after the face mask sanitizer soap and water these three is our routine uh, things along with you like your spectacles like your manipers like your uh, belt like a shirt these three is very 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 important things which will be kept in your hand bag okay whenever you get soap and water better wash your hands because soap and water has high uh high than sanitizer because the soap and water will wash the spikes and release the spike and wash out the virus 
okay so if you have any doubts regarding this kindly text to me thank you thank you for this opportunity thank you excuse, excuse me sir yes and i hope you can hear me yes sir so yes people have just uh, put some doubts i will read out that to you yes sir, sir. yes yes right please sir one mr jagdish dabi would like to know how can we reduce community spread from human to human sir yes this very simple sir the virus is the incubation is 1 to 14 days i already told government insist lockdown for 14 days first because if any one person is infected yes sir if he is isolated himself for 14 days he will not infect others this is the basic uh, thing a uh, basic thing for the lockdown but this all uh, finished off now we are in community spread i told how will we diminish or decrease the community spread na just maintain the social distancing is the first point is it possible for all places na that is very very uh, less chances because uh, last week itself uh, you are all know in the task mark and all so use face mask this is the thing to reduce community spread social distancing and face mask okay sir the next okay. question from hurisha barwin she mm -hmm. asks will it be an acceptable task for us to practice living with this virus in the future in the upcoming days sir yes sir yes definitely government of india and who both are told like that covid will not go out like hiv virus it will be here for long time so better we practice to live with uh, covid so that i told uh, face mask social distance face mask and sanitizer is our day to day things which we have and social distancing is the our our uh, day to day practice to maintain definitely we will practice okay sir next question from shafika sir could you explain how the herd immunity help in reducing the corona cases is yes. it safe to follow herd immunity for corona yeah first we know uh, few words about herd immunity what is herd immunity if most of the population in a particular area is infected to a particular virus or bacteria the herd immunity will develop but the herd immunity will not give full protection any vaccine associated vaccine and herd immunity will give protection for example tuberculosis we have one vaccine called bcg na porandane porrom laya and the bcg solution that then most of the population are infected with the tuberculosis both will give some protection some protection not full protection but in here there is no vaccine right now and there is no chances of developing herd immunity for covid because if we get or if we are receive herd immunity if we develop herd immunity minimum 50 to 60% of population will be infected but globally not globally right india we are 135 crores population we infected our infected is just 1 lakh the very neglected amount of infection how can we develop herd immunity but the issue is then the another question will come sir just we uh, infected uh, just 1 lakh that's very very uh, minimal <coughs> number why can't we uh, panic the issue is more of spread today is 1 lakh if we are not practicing social distancing or face mask or safe practice within one week or two days it will higher boost up like italy or european countries but right now there is no chances of develop herd immunity okay sir one fine question from sunny babu how effective is the use of hydroxy chloroquine in the treatment of covid 19 yeah actually hydroxy chloroquine 
previously because of our trump this very much of uh, uh, glamorized hydroxychloroquine ungal theriyuma therilla we indian doctors use hydroxychloroquine for all the rheumatoid arthritis patients okay There's some uh, roles in lung infection also previously what we think covid 19 is attack throat and lungs so the major cause of death is respiratory failure so whenever a patient is in critical they put it in icu and intubate that is uh, intubation intubate the patient then artificial respiration they give artificial respiration and all at the time they think the hydroxychloroquine is useful because hydroxychloroquine will uh postpone or will it will help to prevent the lung damage and right now covid 19 is not only affecting lungs it affect the heart it affect the blood and all parts so for recently all the deaths which occur is not by respiratory failure majority of the deaths are occurred by cytokine storm and infective endocarditis that is cardiac problem okay so the hydroxy chloroquine definitely not give a full satisfied effect first point second point we doctors are not at all recommend hydroxy chloroquine for prophylactic purpose because hydroxy chloroquine has severe adverse reactions they may develop cardiac arrest because of this hydroxy chloroquine one cine actor you know last month he expired or kanna laddu dinna asaya hero he this this is suspicious he may death he may died because of taking of hydroxy chloroquine so that's better avoid hydroxy chloroquine there's no definite role of hydroxy chloroquine in covid 19 Next. Hello. So, try to have. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, tell me, guy. Is there a asymptomatic transmission of the coronavirus cases? Yeah, ma'am. Because I already told eighty one, eighty to eighty five percent are asymptomatic. இன்ன உங்களுக்கு தெரியவ சொல்லணும்னா இந்த 80 85% வந்து they are asymptomatic அந்த வைரஸ் உள்ள வர்றதும் தெரியாது அவனுக்கு எந்த வியாதியும் கொடுக்காது after 14 to 15 days it will go out from his body he is free from virus but the the risk is he is asymptomatic but the person who infected from him may get in uh, disease Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, sir? No, sir. Uh, that's it from uh, participants. Okay, but uh, I conclude my. Okay. Now, one more question. I will tell you, sir. Very simple. I will tell you. Very, very simple. Wear your mask. 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 வெளியற மாஸ்க் போட்டுக்கங்க டிஸ்டன்ஸ் மெயின்டெய்ன் பண்ணிருவீங்க அது காலேஜ் பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபேக்கல்டி இரண்டாவது எதையும் தொடாதீங்க இன் கேஸ் தொட்டுட்டீங்கன்னா கையில சோப் போட்டு கையை கழுவாம உங்க மூக்கு வாயி கண்ண தொடாதீங்க இவ்வளவுதான் வேற எதுவுமே கிடையாது இதை நீங்க ஃபாலோ பண்றீங்கன்னா யூ will not be get கொரோனா because உங்களுக்கு நல்லா தெரியும் ரூட் ஆஃப் என்ட்ரி ரெண்டே ரெண்டு தான் உங்க மூக்கு வழியா வாய் வழியா கண் வழியத்த உள்ள போகும் அது நீங்க தொட்டாத்தையும் போகும் ரெண்டாவது டைரக்டா காஃப் பண்றது டைரக்டா காஃப் பண்றது நீங்க மாஸ்க் போட்டுக்கோங்க இப்ப எல்லாம் கொஞ்சம் அவேர்னஸ் இருக்கு நம்ம கூட்டத்துல போக போறது இல்ல இப்ப ரிஸ்க் நமக்கு இந்தியனுக்கு இருக்க ரிஸ்கே வந்து அந்த லைடவுன் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸ் நம்ம தெரியாம தொட்டுட்டு நம்ம அதை நம்ம இன்னேல் பண்ணிருவோங்கிறது தான் நமக்கு ப்ராப்ளம் அதுக்கு நம்ம வந்து கான்சியஸா இருக்கணும் எதையும் தொடக்கூடாது தொட்டுட்டீங்களா சோப்பு போட்டு கை கழுவாம உங்க மூக்கு வாய தொடாதீங்க
thank you sir. thank you thank you so much thank you sir honorable guest speaker faculties and all the participants it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion i am very grateful to the management for giving us an opportunity to organize this webinar i on behalf of the biomedical engineering department i extend a very hearty thanks to our honorable delegate dr m ramachandran deputy director of medical service government hospital dindukal and a john joyce rajan direct district ppm coordinator district tb center who readily accepts our invitation in his busy work thank you sir for all your valid information how to face and overcome this critical situation i extend my big thanks to my faculties and colleagues of biomedical engineering department for their support i heartily congratulate all the participants from various colleges for their active participation in the event thank you all for making this event successful with your contribution special thanks it is an opportunity to reaffirm our gratitude towards all the doctors nurses staffs and healthcare workers leading the battle against covid-19 thank you dear participants kindly fill the feedback form we share the link in zoom chat and youtube thank you and hope everyone is doing well stay home stay safe thank you one and all